Hey everybody, um, today I have a review of the Toy Story, Disney Parks, Parachute Skydivers. Um, and you may be asking, where are their parachutes? Um, so this is an instance in which um, I just can't show half of the thing. Um, as far as I can remember, like, they worked as normal parachutes. They were pretty okay, I mean, ten... You can buy these at Disney Parks for like ten bucks, um, but I got Buzz secondhand without a parachute, and Woody I got at the Disney Parks, and I did a classic case of Gavin buys something very expensive uh, and has no idea and completely obliterates that rarity or whatever. <laughs> so these figures are definitely very odd, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so I'll get into it. First off, we have Buzz. Um, now, his jetpack is probably the most noticeable part of it that's different. Um, this is, like, nothing like um, he normally has for his jetpack, of course. But that's also the top bit was where the parachute would have attached. But um, these figures, they've been re-releasing them at Disney Parks for a while now. Um, you can definitely tell on Woody, and on Buzz it's kind of noticeable too, because he has, on the bottom here, the very long feet that the Disney World Buzz of the time, the Toy Story and Beyond one, um, that was released, I think, between 2002 and the end of 2000, end of the early 2000s or whatever, um, he's got that super long feet for some reason. Now, of course, these are articulated. So you can move them at the legs. These are rubber. Also at the arms. Um, is it blurry? Yes, now he's blurry. Sorry. Um, you can rotate the arms or whatever, and you can rotate the head. You can also kind of tell with the the age of these by just like, you know, the... I don't know, it's a bit thicker than normal. Yeah, that's Buzz. Really not much to talk about with him. And next up is probably the best out of the two. Um, this is Woody. Now, this was during a time when, um, for some reason, companies just could not get Woody's face right, like, at all. And even Disney themselves. So, like, this was, of course, before the time when Thinkway came out with the really... Um, well, they made, um, like, movie sculpted head or whatever, and it looks very nice, looked accurate, so, at that point, um, they kind of just had, I think they just kind of had to go with what they could get, um, and his face is very square looking, like, super square, um, I just, I, I think there's something about his face, I don't know, um, combined with the fact that the top part of his hat here is, like, tiny compared to the rest of his head. So he's just got, like, um, his head part, he's got his normal head, and then up here near the top, it just, like, shrinks into a cone or something <laughs> in order to fit that. Um, that he does articulate at the head, of course. Here we have some nice painted details for his arms. Um, I don't think it's as noticeable with Buzz, but... Um, since these are made of, like, a um, rubberish material, there are occasions will, where they will not bend correctly. However, now, um, of course, as I say that, he is working perfectly fine. Um, so you can, of course, move his arms. And, uh, unlike Buzz, Woody has the terrifying um, broken bone syndrome. <laughs> so you can contort his limbs in any way you want. Um, on the back, you can see, of course, where they attach the parachute. Um, he's got, like, a nice little brown backpack. It's funny that they gave him a backpack, because they couldn't really do anything else with him. Um, down here, you have his legs, which are, again, um, you can make terrifying abominations. Um, you can sit him down like that, and then he's got broken legs. <laughs> But, yeah, um, he's got a painted-on holster, and his boots are actually, um, 
I don't really think there's a way to get the boots wrong, although as I say that now, I'm thinking of modern day Thinkway, um, Woody Plushies, and his sock feet, which, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, very strange looking figure, <laughs> there's no other really well to say about it, um, he's just kind of strange, of course, he would be attached to a parachute, so you wouldn't really pay much attention to him, but yeah, so that was the review, um, I apologize for the lack of parachutes, although I don't really think that people were concerned about them. If you did want to know, they're just like, I think the parachutes had Buzz and Woody paint printed on them with like some generic decals or whatever. Yeah, um, very strange figures, of course. I believe these sell at Disney World and Disneyland for like... 10 bucks each, um, they still are selling these, I believe, um, at least they were selling them back in 2019 when I did go there, and I got Woody, um, but, like, with new packaging or whatever, so, very strange, um, kind of a testament to their time, you can definitely tell that they've been re-released constantly just due to their odd shapes and features or whatever, um, yeah, that was my review. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.